a beautiful day it is out there. So we look through our sky cam, we see a gorgeous fall tree out there. Look at those beautiful red leaves. That indicates that it's fall out there. And guess what? It's finally feeling like fall outside as well. We're at a temperature of 68 out there with a dew point of 38, so it's feeling really crisp and just like fall. And all across the Magnolia State, we're experiencing these gorgeous temperatures. We're at 72 in the capital city. Our warm spot is 73 in Greenwood. So we're all feeling these beautiful fall-like conditions out there. We don't see a cloud in the sky right now on our radar. But that will change as we look off to our west. We see these clouds over Fort Smith. They're going to push their way into our area overnight. And that is in advance of a cold front that is going to push through in the morning. So this is the big picture for you. We see the low pressure system with a cold front draped across Oklahoma and Kansas. And that will push through overnight tonight and in the morning. And ahead of that, we'll see some of those showers and thunderstorms. Nothing severe, though. And then behind that, we'll see beautiful cooler conditions much like we saw with that last system that we experienced last week. So we'll time this out with future casts. We see gorgeous clear conditions over the Magnolia State today and then tonight and in the morning we'll see the clouds increase. This is at 7 o'clock in the morning just in time for your morning commute. That's when we think the bulk of these showers will bring in the area. So this is painting a pretty good picture. Most of those showers will be out of the way by lunchtime, but the clouds will linger all afternoon tomorrow, and then even at 7 o'clock on Friday morning, we'll still see the cloud cover lingering over the Golden Triangle area and the surrounding counties as well. But that will push out in time for the UT Martin game here in Starkville. It's our homecoming game. It's going to be a beautiful homecoming forecast. As you're tailgating in the junction at 2 o'clock, it's going to be 66 degrees, and then by kickoff, it's going to be down to 63 degrees will cool off pretty rapidly after the sun sets, so you will need a jacket if you're making your way to Davis Wade Stadium for the homecoming game. And don't forget to set your clocks back an hour because it's fall back time on Saturday night as well. Today, though, we'll get up to 72 degrees, excuse me. Mostly sunny skies, a gorgeous afternoon, so get outside and enjoy it. Tonight, we'll get down to 48 degrees. Those clouds will be on the increase in advance of that cold front that pushes its way into the area in the morning. And then, like I said, we'll have some showers early. We'll only get up to 62 degrees, so a 10-degree difference between today and tomorrow. And those showers will clear out by lunchtime, but the clouds will linger on throughout the afternoon. And we'll have a brisk wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour as well tomorrow afternoon. Then Friday, we'll see the clouds linger in. Um, for, the mo for half of the day on Friday, but those will begin to clear out as we go into the day on Friday. And then a spectacular weekend is on deck. A high of 70 for that homecoming game here in Starkville and 71 on Sunday. And then to start your next work week, a high of 74. And then the lows in the mid to upper 40s all weekend long. So if you're making your way outside for those homecoming festivities, you're going to definitely need a jacket, but it's going to be a gorgeous homecoming weekend. Thank you for joining us.